Elon Musk once said, there's a silly notion that failure is not an option at NASA. Failure is an option here, and if things are not failing, you're simply not innovating enough. You see, the takeaway from this is that if everything is going smoothly, then chances are that you're not pushing the boundaries enough. After all, no one ever gained true success by sticking to the tried and tested path. This is one of the cases for intuitive machines, as they innovate their way forwards to creating probes that are functional for the lunar surface. The Novasi mission was a great and very brave effort on their part. They tried their best. The mission did not go as expected. Let's find out how it happened. We think we came down with, like I said, about six miles an hour this way and about two miles an hour this way and caught a foot in the surface and the, and the lander has tipped like this. And we believe this is the, surf, the, the orientation of the lander on the moon. Probe tilted over a rock, right? That's, that's all it takes to knock down a mission worth millions and months and months and months upon of effort from very talented engineers to go down the drain. For sure, it'd be good to see the health of the landing gear and see how that all looks. And so it'll be a few days before we get all of that put together and reconstructed. Odysseus touched down on the surface of the moon Thursday after an eight day journey, circling the moon two and a half times, traveling a total of 600,000 miles. Um, it was quite amazing to see them in work, real space cowboys. And, uh, you know, we worked through all the difficulties. If you think back from Apollo days, there wasn't one mission that went absolutely perfectly. So you have to be ad adaptable, you have to be innovative, and you have to persevere. The company says the craft's sideways position is blocking the antennas and solar panels needed to stay operational. They expect Odysseus will officially lose power and go dark in about a week. <laughs>